All right, now with yesterday's decision, the map of Jammu and Kashmir has been redrawn. And here's what it looks like now. Now, Jammu and Kashmir is now going to be a union territory, not a state anymore. It will have more than one crore citizens. And there will also be a new union territory with nearly about three lakh citizens. And that will be Ladakh. And Jammu and Kashmir now has more than 50 lakh people each. Now that's not all. The decision to scrap Article 370 also includes a move to redraw the maps of the Assembly and also the parliamentary constituencies of Jammu and Kashmir. And here is what it, it is now going to look like. The existing state of Jammu and Kashmir Assembly has about 87 seats. Six Lok Sabha MPs are elected from the state. Now four Assembly seats and one Lok Sabha seat are in the Ladakh region and that is now going to be a separate union territory altogether. The Jammu and Kashmir is in fact one of the highest recipients of central grants in India, but that money has never reached the people. Now again, we have the numbers to substantiate this. The Jammu and Kashmir received about 10% of the central government grants between the years 2000 and 2016. Now that is a good long 16 years and 10% of central grants. And despite the fact that Jammu and Kashmir represents less than 1% of India's population, the contrast this 13% of India's population lives in Uttar Pradesh. But this state has received only a little over 8% of the central grants in the same period. So basically, if you were to break down the numbers, each resident of Jammu and Kashmir should have received a little more than 91,000 rupees from the centre in the last 16 years. And during the 2015-2016 financial year, the central government also financed about 60% of Jammu and Kashmir's expenditure. And this was done from non-debt resources. Listen to what the Home Minister said about this in the Parliament. हम ना चाहते हैं सबसे कुछ होटल सबसे ज्यादा सबसे ज्यादा पैसा कश्मीर के अंदर गया फिर भी कश्मीर का लोग आज गरीब क्यों है वो डिस्ट्रिक्ट करना है मैं आपके माध्यम से अपील करता हूं विपक्ष के सभी सभा सदस्यों को कृपया चर्चा करिए आप आपके तर्क में बेखौफ बे रख सकते हैं शौक से रख सकते हैं मैं हर एक तर्क का जवाब दूंगा और मैं दृढ़ मान्यता के साथ आया हूं कि भारत 370 हटाने में एक सेकंड भी देरी नहीं करनी चाहिए द रिवोकिंग आर्टिकल 370 विल एनेबल द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट to accelerate the economic development of Jammu and Kashmir, or at least this is what has been stated. It will be interesting to see as to how Jammu and Kashmir changes on the economic front. If I have to say to you, all the citizens of the country, and the people of the country, that the 370 has destroyed Jammu, Kashmir, Ladakh, and the people of the country, what is the loss of the country? The three families of the country, जम्मू कश्मीर को बैन में रखा जम्मू कश्मीर के अंदर लोकतंत्र को परकोलेट नहीं होने दिया और आज ये राष्ट्रपति शासन के अंदर प्रधानमंत्री जी के अगुवाई में वहां पर चुनाव हुआ चालीस हजार पद सरपंच सरपंच आज काम कर रहे हैं चुनाव में एक बूंद भी खून की भूमि पर नहीं गिरी शांतिपूर्ण चुनाव हुआ और मोस्ट ऑब्वियस क्वेश्चन टू ऑस्क वॉट इज द लीगलिटी ऑफ दर how can the government remove Article 370 with just a nod from the president? Now, technically speaking, Article 370 has not been scrapped. This is important. Article 370 has not been scrapped. Now, Section 3 of the Article 370 empowers the president to declare the special status of Jammu and Kashmir to be inoperative any time. Now, the order by the president does exactly that. It replaces the constituent assembly in Jammu and Kashmir with a legislative assembly. In short, it uses a provision in Article 370 to strike down Article 370, although technically it is still pretty much.